John chapter 4, verse 49. Sir, the official said to him, come down before my boy dies. Now the man, this government official, is come pleading to Jesus. It says that in the early verse. The, he can't find any other solution. His boy is ill. There's no other option. Nobody in the government, nobody around he could find. Maybe nobody he could pay money to bring any kind of healing. So he hears that Jesus is there. He goes after him. He says, Jesus, please, my boy is ill. And then Jesus even says, look, if you don't see signs, you're not going to believe. You just want the miracle. And the guy continues to plead. He says, it's not that. No, no, no. He says, sir, come down before my boy dies. He's literally saying, Jesus, you're the only one that can do this. I know you can do this. I know that you are sufficient to do it. You're capable of doing it. You have the power. And you may be so willing to do it. So please, for the sake of my sick boy, Jesus, please. If only all of us were so lucky to have others interceding to Jesus for us and others caring for us. And for those who are sick, those who are far from Jesus, those who are in great need, may we as believers be saying, let's intercede for them as Jesus intercedes for us. Let's be like this government official saying, look, this kid can't even get to Jesus, so let's get Jesus to the kid. Or let's do something. Let's, let's care because we believe that Jesus is capable and he is powerful. And he can do these things. He can raise the dead. He can prevent people from dying. He can change hearts of stone into hearts of flesh that believe and follow Christ. He can do all of these things. And so we should be like this government official just pleading on behalf of those who are sick and ill that they would have the physician that Jesus may do a miraculous work in their lives and bring healing. May we have that heart for the people that Jesus has a heart for. For the lost, for the hurting, and for the broken.